Good day, everyone. Today we're taking a look at an unrated part called Spies from the Shadow. And we'll be looking at situations that it can be used in moments where it is not needed. This is a great perk for beginners of the game or a killer that just has a limited selection of perks that they had just unlocked. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what Spies of the Shadow exactly is. Why it has some uses. First of all, to start off, the crows found in the trial grounds can communicate with you directly. Crows startled by survivors within 20, 28, and 36 meters may use a loud noise notification, as seen in the video. First off, something that you don't want to be using this perk for is during mid chase. You have plenty of ways to chase a survivor while you're in chase you can see the blood trail scratch marks and what the spies of the shadow really does for you is if you lose them in a chase or you know, you're chasing anyone so in an instance where they're just running across a map and you see them go one way they'll eventually hit a crow as you're sprinting and with this being an unrated perk and not used as much people People and like the survivors aren't really prepared for it, so they'll just run haphazardly through it and not really give it much attention. So this this is a great information perk, and honestly, probably better than uh, some perks that help you start off with knowing what you have. Because, like I said, at the beginning of the game, people are just going to, to sprint to the closest generator or sprint to the other side. Of but if they do that, they're automatically going to alert a crow to your location as long as we're in, if we're within that 36 meter mark. A lot of times what this, this perk will be even better in an open map just because there's more avenues that a player can go to avoid the killer. So in that respect, definitely would suggest using this over an outdoor map than an indoor map but nonetheless this is still a great perk just for the knowledge of which way a survivor is running so we're able to just not have to play a mind game we already know which direction she's going to be ultimately going where is this body at my goodness i feel like i'm spending more time on this finding this body than anything else Yep, about six for days now. That took way too much time to find that, but the crows and it's gonna give it directly away from where they're at. Like I already know they're gonna head up here just because the scratch mark along with the crow. So it's an additional piece of information that really just helps you know where you need to be after that initial head start. Want to be running like Poppins, a Weasel, or just other really strong metal perks. And no one wants to always be playing with metal perks. People want to try unique options out. And this is one of the ones I enjoy the most when it comes to just being able to track uh, survivors even better. And yeah, so that's one of the main benefits of this build. You're going to find survivors more often. Each time they progress, and they're being punished for doing well. They finish a gen, fires from the shadow, oh! and we know exactly which direction they're going to go from there. So yeah, let's go ahead and see how the rest of this game goes right now. I'm not sure what they're triggering up there, but <gasps> oh, there she is. Definitely going the wrong that way. Is she going? Yeah, she went up. Okay. And just like that, we know she went down. Oh, Let's see if we can chase this Jake for a bit. But well, at the very least, we know that she's already down on the ground. We know they're gonna be working on it. Let's just get ready. Oh, there he is. No, let's just block him in for a second. <laughs> if we wanted, we could just hold him hostage until they finished all the gin. I just love getting those situations though. 
Let's see. Let's get him on a hook now. What? What? Oh! <laughs> ah. Uh, you're not always going to get it. The front perk, mainly just because it, it requires survivors to be more cautious of oh. running. And I'll look another one, just hiding in the bathroom stall. Should I let you out? Or should I let you in? I don't know. You know, fine. Get on out of here. What you can do also is... um. Wait about 15 seconds and then just mack them once they get comfortable. And that usually gives you a chance to get a follow-up attack. Or they just quit and give up. Regardless, we're not really playing that fun. We're testing out Spies of the Shadow. You know, I always mix this name up with like Spies of the Crow or Spies of the Shadow. Spies from the Shadow. Let's rotate over to her real quick. I'm sure someone's around in this area right now. Get this damaged. He's got to be around here somewhere. Yep, like that. And that's really why this part is so underrated. You just get so many situations where you don't know where they're coming from, but you know they're going to a certain objective. But with this perk, the main usage is you know which avenue of approach they're going to take. And she got me good at that to side of strike. But let's see if I can hit this hatchet throw. Bang! Alright, alright. Get her back on this hook real quick. Got to it, getting that jitter halfway. So generally keep going back to it and hoping to be able to get it finished. And this should get up right here. Oh no, I missed. But yeah, it's like just going right back to it. Let's just get this one damaged and it'll be regressing until it's done. Because ultimately they're going to go back to it since it's the most completed generator. <laughs> You know, she's just running headlong that way. We'll get him right here. Right, she's playing the long game, going for the hatch, it looks like. Right, let's get this close. Bang. And now that we have no ed, we can either just open up the gate and just wait for her to show up. Honestly, Spies of the Shadow, like I've mentioned multiple times, it's a great information perk, not a perk that you want to be using in chases. There are so many better perks to be using mid-chase. You can be using perks that shut down vaults and windows or that make them scream mid-chase. So many other things that get rid of your red stain. This is not the perk to be using if you need to get better at chasing. This is a perk that's going to help you find people. It's going to help you get to your chases faster, which is a really good priority if you're a newer killer and you need experience with getting into chases. So if you don't want to spend five minutes looking for a survivor and getting three gems popped on you before you can even get a hit in, Spies of the Shadow is a great beginner perk. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment about what your four favorite perks are that aren't meta. And I hope you guys have a great day, and thank you for watching.